Hi, I'm Daphne Richards, and we've got another great question this week from one of our viewers. Is there any harm to my yard from dumping used cat litter in the grass, but not using it to fertilize a garden that's used to grow food? Well, although tossing the kitty litter into the grass a couple of times probably wouldn't do much damage, I would advise against it, especially long term, even in non-food areas of the yard. The small amount of cat waste in the litter is really not the issue, especially in non-edible beds. But the kitty litter itself would, in effect, become a soil amendment. Most of these products are either made from clay or silica. Clay is clumping and does not easily break up in the soil, so it would probably just stay on the soil surface as little balls. And if you have a heavy clay soil, you are already familiar with the problems caused by having too much clay in your soil. Silica products would be less of an issue, since silica is basically coarse sand. And then there are the biodegradable products, which would theoretically break down over time, making them the least problematic in this situation. Unfortunately, I still think it's best to just go ahead and send used kitty litter to the landfill. Our plant this week is bay laurel, Laurelis nobilis. This beautiful evergreen shrub is indeed the same one of culinary fame. Although I wouldn't suggest planting one now, you should wait until spring. I couldn't resist highlighting this plant in honor of the wonderful privacy hedge of bay laurel in this week's garden at the Matthews home. Although native to the Mediterranean, bay laurel does very well in central Texas landscapes. In its native habitat, bay laurel can get up to 40 feet tall, but here it will remain much shorter, closer to four or five feet, and it will grow also much more slowly. You can also hedge it back to keep it manageable if it gets too tall. It also does great in the container. Since Mediterranean winters are not usually as cold as ours here, you may need to protect bay laurel on an extra cold night, especially during the first few years. But well-established trees should experience very little freeze damage, even with temperatures down into the teens, as long as those temps are not prolonged. Bay laurel prefers very rich, well-drained soil, so be sure to amend the planting area, and not just the planting hole, with lots of compost. It requires full sun to thrive, but will struggle in areas with reflected heat and our very dry air. You will need to water bay laurel regularly, but not more than once a week once it's established, except in very hot, prolonged dry spells. Of course, since this is a culinary plant, you'll want to harvest some of the leaves, which you can do at any time of the year. Since bay laurel is so shrubby, it responds well to pruning, especially if it's healthy, and will put on new growth every time you harvest. To do in your garden this week, it's time to plant transplants of cool weather vegetables like arugula, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and Chinese cabbage. If you have a lawn, now would also be a good time to fertilize it, to encourage it to make lots of new roots this winter so that it will be more water efficient this coming summer. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit klru.org ctg to send us your pictures or plants from your garden.